So now that we have MongoDB and Mongoose imported, we can start creating our database. And essentially over the next couple of challenges, we're gonna be creating um, a collection of people or like a set of person records that have various information. And the first thing we need to start considering is a schema. And a schema is basically like um, a set of like, I guess, um, attributes that the people can have and what types they have to be. Um, this whole this whole second part right here, I have absolutely no idea why this is even here. Like it makes no sense at all. So I've just ignored it completely. Um, if you open up this one here, the mongoose docs, this is actually a lot more useful because I feel like this information lacks quite a bit. Anyway, so the schema, um, if you look here, is like kind of um, I guess a set of properties that a collection will have and the types that they can have. So if we look at this one, this shows the types for a blog and we have like title, a string, author, a string and stuff like that. Um, and there's a very bunch of types here. And if you just click on this one about read about schema types, um, that shows you like all the various types and what they mean. But we're gonna just be sticking to simple ones for now. Um, so let's start off by creating a schema. So you do something like let people schema, since we're creating a schema for people equals, and then you would say new here, since we're creating a new schema. And the schema is actually a, I guess, a class in MongoDB, sorry, on Mongoose. So we want to do Mongoose here dot schema like this with a capital S. And again, remember that we required mongoose as mongoose right here. And inside this, you'll give it an object with all the um, various attributes and types. So first thing it wants um, is a name and it has to be a required string. So the, we, the way we would do that, we would do like name like this. We don't need to use quotes here, by the way. Um, and then we can put the type in here like this. So it can be like name string like this. But um, if we want to add additional properties to this, like this being required, we have to put it into an object like this. So we'd put the first argument as a type and then following that we'd put all the options in. And if we scroll down just a little bit um, and go to um, string here and um, no, not that. If you go to um, schema type options here, and we can see that the required option is a Boolean that tells you if it's required or not. So this is the one that we want to use. And when we're doing it as an object, we want to do it like this. So we're going to put type string like this, and then um, we just apply the rest of our options here. So we can do stuff like lowercase or whatever, but we just want required. So we'll do required like this and it says required um, has to be a boolean so we want to just put true here so again you put um, type and then the type you want and then all the options and then their values and you put put it into an object like this next thing it wants is a age to be a number so we can do age like this and we don't have any additional constraints here, so it's not required or anything. So we can simply just put the type, and the type is number. But again, it's number with a capital N, as you'll see here. It's just number with a capital N. Um, the final thing is um, favorite foods, and that's an array of strings. So first you wanna just declare the name of the property, so it's favorite foods. Um, be careful here that it uses American spelling and not UK spelling, so don't put the U here. And the way you say it's an array of string is you simply add these square brackets and inside it you put the type you want. So you do like string like this. So this means it's an array of strings. If you wanted it to be an array of required strings, for example, we can put like this object in here. So you can put whatever type in here and surround it by square brackets and it means an array of that type. So now we have the people schema, which dictates what information each person should have associated with them. So next thing we need to do is create a model. And a model is basically like something that you would model in real life. So we're modeling people here, but a single people, I guess, is called a person. So you do something like let person 
equals. And the way you create a model is you say, you call a method on mongoose called model. So you do mongoose.model like this. And inside it, you give it two arguments. So the first argument you give it is the name of the model you want. And I'm just gonna put person here. Now, this person here is a JavaScript reference to this model. And this person here is actually the name of the model. And next thing we want to do is the second argument has to be what schema you want to give use or like what properties you want the person model to have. And we've created a people schema here where we've declared what all people should have associated with them. So we can just use the people schema here. So it, it tells you to create this model of person that has these properties. Um, the way you create an actual person, for example, is you can use this person here right now as a constructor. So you can say something like let Dave equals new and then person like this. And inside this, you put an array of all the properties. It's not an array, sorry, an object. So you do like name and then you put a string in. So like Dave, I guess. Um, then you can put comma age 27 and it's kind of, it's basically just a constructor and this is basically just an object i think um we can do favorite foods like this and favorite foods is an array of strings so we can say something like pizza um i don't know um chips this is this is really bad um so this is this is basically a person that we've created and we can create many people like this simply using this constructor and if, let's just do a quick console log to look at Dave. So if I just save this and um, open up the terminal, which might take a while actually. Yeah, this is taking a while, but I think it's important that we take a look at what this person is. So we just want to do node and then my app dot js and just start that up. And yeah, it's being really slow. Okay, so we can see that this Dave is basically just an object and it's basically all this information that we've associated. So we have age, name, and the favorite food story. And this ID, underscore ID, is a field that I think either Mongoose or MongoDB adds. I think Mongoose adds it in. And this is just a unique identifier so we can differentiate. So if we create like multiple ones with Dave with the same information, they'll have unique IDs so we can tell them apart from each other. And this is automatically generated. But regardless, all this challenge asks you to do is create a person model. So we can just get rid of all of this part here. Or you know what, I'm just gonna comment it out because it's not really relevant. And um, all we need to do is have this person right here. Um, it has to be spelled this way as well, I think, for it to pass the test. So just click share live app, copy it, and um, paste it into here. And then just click I've completed and you should be good to go. I hope that was clear. It's really confusing for me as well.